Hey guys, Jim and Pokemon here, and today I'm bringing you the complete Legendary Collection PSA 10 set. You can see we got the four box toppers in the back back here. Literally just got this Dark Raichu from Pokemon Revolution like two weeks ago to complete the set. Um, so many of these cards are just hard, hard to find, hard to chase, so hard to acquire. Initially I went for a PSA 9 set, and then when I couldn't do the PSA 9 set, I mean, after I finished PSA 9, I was like, alright, let's go for the 10 set. Ended up grading this myself. If you watch that How to Grade video, you can see this in there. I mean, the artwork in this set, just the spectacular, the, the beauty, the fireworks, you know, and I think it's only fitting that I release this video on New Year's. Um, like I did, I think, back in 2015 when I was going after the 9 set. And again, just to reiterate, guys, you know, I started this channel trying to find cards I couldn't find. You know, I was pretty private for a while, and then you just hit a barrier where you just don't find certain cards. Some cards just don't exist. You know, this card didn't have a 10 for a while. And so it's just kind of the connection to the community, sharing these experiences with you guys. Um, this is such, such a huge feat. And I actually waited, uh, I waited just a little bit to make this video because there's a, another card at the end I didn't quite have to about a week or so ago as well that I'll show you. Gyarados, man, tough card. This was a part of the last two cards I got graded. And I could have bought it many times, but it was always priced just a little bit higher than all the other cards. And I didn't want to stretch for it. And eventually I had to because I had to pick it up. Hitmon Lee, man. I mean, again, you know, I don't want this to be a boring video, but if you just look at the spark, the sparkle, all that just sticking out, it's just, you know, these are the original artworks, you know, the original base set, you know, Machamp without a first edition symbol. You know, and so it's just an epic set in its own right. And it's the first reverse holo set that was ever released. You know, it came out 2002, Legendary Collection. Kind of when Pokemon was getting in a little bit of a lull. Some people thought these were fake cards. Some people didn't want them. And Zapdos here completes the, the hollows of the set. And so, you know, Pokemon was kind of in an interesting time. You know, right before E-Series, kind of around the same time as E-Series which, you know, was starting the, the towards the bottom of Pokemon. And so not a lot of these were produced. You know, it has a, the set has a lower print run. You know, you get one reverse hollow per pack, and you get 36 packs per box. So you, know, you have to open up, you know, probably at least three, four, five, six boxes just to get a variety. You know, you're going to pull duplicate reverse hollows. Now I'll open up, you know, 20 packs, and I'll get duplicate reverse hollows. And then this set alone, you know, you have print lines. You don't really see them because they're all tens, but you have print lines that go through. And, and yes, you can have some tens that do have print lines that uh, that go through the cards, and they take away from the aesthetic appeal. Cool, quick fact about this card: it's the only promo in the set, the only card uh, that wasn't from Jungle Base Fossil Team Rocket. Um, it's from the promo, Black Star promos. Moltres. I mean, that's a cool card. I feel like a lot of people overlook this card, but that's a cool card, man. Here, I'm just going to go and slide this over. <laughs> These piles are going to get huge. Because we got some more stuff coming, not just reverse hollows. Nitto King. Nitto Queen. I mean, you tie both of them together in the set. They're no longer split up. Pidgeot. This is a cool card. I played them in the game all the time. And it's just the fireworks. It's just explosion. Pidgeotto. Dude, this is this was a tough one. This one, I really struggled with this one. I, I, had, I could barely find a 9, let alone a 10. And when a 10 came up, you know, I paid a premium for it because I didn't know if another one was going to show up. And so let's go on and keep going. Arcanine. Base set. You know, an original Uncom from Base set. Tremeleon. You know, the Dark Dragonair. It would have been cool if they went with the Base set Dragonair just because that's one of the most beautiful cards ever made. Dark War Turtle. Oh, man. I should probably make another version of this video that's like 30 minutes long, where we hold each card for like 20 seconds at a time. But I know a lot of people just want to see each card in a, in a 10. And what's cool is, you know, as I was collecting this, there were very few people that were collecting it. You know, open up packs were expensive. You know, packs for me were around 40 bucks when I was opening a bunch of them. Um, now they're way over 100, probably towards 150 by now. Growlithe, a tough base set card to grade. And so, and the tough part for me, when I was grading these, my PSA 10 percentage was probably between like 2 and 4%. I mean, it was low. And there are a lot of PSA returns videos I never actually um, posted on the channel just because the, the grades were awful. And I always want to bring you guys premium content. 
And so there are some things that don't, you know, they just turn out real bad and I don't want to post it. But, you know, my my uh, chances with grading these cards, um, they, they weren't that great. And a lot of times I bought, you know, uh, pack fresh sets. And I had one set that I posted that just did amazing. I think it, the video has like over 300,000 views or something. But it, it just, it was far, far above anything else that I ever had. It was almost like an anomaly just with how well the set graded. You got Primate. Rapid Dash, Radicate. I mean, the nostalgia here, guys. The nostalgia. It just brings you back. And I'm pretty proud to say, I'm pretty sure this is the first set completed in the world. Um, there are a few guys with uh, deeper pockets than I have that went pretty hard there in the end. And uh, they may have completed a set before me, but I do not think they posted a video before me, so... Abra, getting the uncommons. Bulbasaur, man. A $300, you know, base set card. Caterpie. Charmander. The Duo. Just the firework. Dratini, another high-end base set card. But, you know, I think another allure of the set is, you know, this is the only set with this sort of firework reverse hollow. You know, other sets um, down the road had different variations of reverse hollows. But this is the first reverse hollow set ever produced, you know. And then also, it's the only version with this type of artwork. And and yeah, it does look a little fake maybe to the the untrained eye. But I mean, it's a pretty good quality set. I mean, it's very consistent. You know, the the sparkles are, are beautifully made. And a lot of the fakes they don't look that good. They look actually pretty bad. And so I'm really glad that Wizards did this design. I, I'm glad they changed it so there's only one uh, set out there like this. But, you know, at the same time, it has its own, you know, it has its own place that can't be taken away. So when you get a Pikachu reversal, I think one of these went to auction just crazy high recently. It's just a beautiful set in its own right. Try to speed up a little bit for you guys so you can see everything. Sandshrew. Seal. The slow poke. Look how basic that artwork is. Look how basic. You never see a Pokemon art like that. They always throw in a crazy background or something now. Squirtle. Man, Squirtle. Tentacool. Dude, like, so when this set eventually came together, it was basically over one weekend with three guys I deal with very often. Um, and basically all three guys had one to two different cards I needed for the set, and they were all willing to let it go. Um, at the same time, and, and it was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday ordeal. I mean, we negotiated over like three days to complete the set. Uh, Drowsy, I think, was the last card I bought, but it, it came in the mail before some of the other ones. And, you know, Drowsy was pop zero. Drowsy, think about that. Drowsy was the last pop zero card for the longest time. All right, that completes the reverse hollow set. I'm going to try to squeeze in the rest of this as fast as I can. So we got the three... Theme Deck non hollows. You probably forgot about these. These are actually pretty hard to get. I think this was Pop 1 for a while. Charizard is a $500 card for a while. I mean, that's, that's pretty amazing. You know, a Theme Deck non hollow card. I mean, these are pretty special. And then I'm going to try to squeeze in the uh, hollow set. Again, first person complete the hollow set out there. Just beautiful, beautiful cards. Just so you guys can see the set. Charizard, first person to ever grade this card. This might be the second copy. I think I might have sold the other one. Dark Blastoise, this might still be a pop one card. A pop one Dark Blastoise, that's crazy. But think about it. You know, this set was unbelievable. You know, this Raichu, it cost me a pretty penny. I overpaid for it, but I needed the card for the set. And Dark Slowbro. You guys, it's, it's kind of like the base set three, but I'm so happy they called it Legendary Collection with the little metal down here. You know, it, it's, it's a reprint set. But it was at a weird time in Pokemon where the true fans were still a part of the hobby. And a lot of us came back after a while, realized kind of the unique, you know, allure of the set. And it brought a lot of us in. And so, last but not least, I did complete the rares for the set in PSA 10. I want to try to keep this video under 10 minutes. I do not have the commons uncommons yet for the set. Nice card. I do have them all loose, but... They will be graded eventually. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
and Kadabra because, again, the controversy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.